Hey, what's up everyone? Jay with ShockBlastMedia.com and uh, I'm pretty excited today. Uh, today I managed to get my hands on uh, the new Marvel Universe figure for uh, my favorite comic book character growing up and that is uh, this guy right here, Darkhawk. That's right, uh, Darkhawk was in fact my favorite comic book character when I was a child. Um, I had issue one all the way through God knows how many. Uh, I didn't I didn't have the whole set, but I, I had started at issue one and worked my way up. Uh, I remember getting him at a comic book shop in Cherry Point, North Carolina, um, or sh I should say Havelock, North Carolina, and uh, totally following Darkhawk from there. He just looked pretty awesome, and I uh, couldn't pass it up and. Ever since then, for whatever reason, he's always been my uh, my favorite character. So, needless to say, I was fairly excited when uh, I was going through uh, my favorite local comic book shop here in Massachusetts, and uh, I was just bored one day, and I happened to stumble upon upon uh, a Nova graphic novel that had Darkhawk on the cover, and I was like, "Holy shit, that's Darkhawk!" So, uh, I ended up buying like. I think that was the fourth of the series of graphic novels. I bought all of the Nova graphic novels because of Darkhawk being on the cover of one. Because I figured I'm not going to get one and not the rest. Um, while I'm talking, I'm just going to go ahead and show them off here. Uh, and because of that, Nova is now one of my top five favorite comic book characters as well. Um, pretty stoked about this. Uh, I've been looking for it everywhere. And um, I'm fairly certain this is his first action figure. I know he's had a Hero Clicks figure and uh, you know if he's had an action figure I'm, I'm dumb because I've looked and I can't find one so uh, Chris Powell is a teenage boy who uh, finds this little amulet right here and uh, gives him the power of Darkhawk. Uh, this figure is uh, pretty awesome I don't know if uh, you know the the colors they used are a hundred percent accurate, but I, I'm okay with that. Um, obviously, as you can see, I got two. Um, I'm gonna keep one in the package. Not usually uh, keep it in the package kind of guy, but uh, for Darkhawk, I will be, and I'll go ahead and put him on display with uh, the rest of my figures that I do actually have in the package. Uh, like in the silver packaging that kind of comes with it, and um, as you can see, I I also got X23. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know shit about this character. <laughs> I really don't. Um, I know that she is uh, Marvel's attempt at making a female Wolverine, but uh, you know, whatever. I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie. I know like some outside stuff, but I mean. Aside from Marvel vs. Capcom, uh, that's pretty much my exposure to her. Um, Steve Rogers and uh, the Submariner are also part of this set. Um, because, you know, Marvel and Hasbro just absolutely could not release you know, a whole series without having characters they've already done before. I really wish this Submariner was the first one they released. Um, I already have the other one, and I really don't see a need to have two Submariners, so I don't think I'm going to get it. Um, of course, you know, Steve Rogers is uh, the guy that's telling me to collect them all this, this year. Um, before it was uh, Norman Osborn, and uh, before that, Iron Man, uh, Tony Starks. So, really awesome, loving it. Really awesome is something I say a lot when I do these reviews. Uh, and that's because, you know, as I've explained before, really don't want to review stuff I don't like. Um, no fun in that. So, uh, I managed to find them at Toys R Us. Uh, they had a ton of them. Uh, actually, out of, out of that series, Darkhawk was the one they had the least of. Uh, not surprisingly, lots of, uh, lots of Steve Rogers and uh, lots of Submariner. Um, X-23 and Darkhawk are obviously the ones that people are going to be after because they're the two newest characters. Um, I mean, Steve Rogers, I, I, I can see why they did that. 
Um, I don't really understand why they couldn't have put him in the Captain America line, uh, but they didn't, so whatever. And uh, I I'm just scared that, that Hasbro is going to kill off this line like they killed off the G.I. Joe line by constantly releasing a, a stupid Iron Man and Hulk and you know all the Avenger guys that they're going to be releasing Avenger figure for figures for anyway. I mean, you need more characters. I mean, there's so many characters to draw from, and it, it's so blatantly obvious in the fact that you know every original character from every series is the one that sells right away. But I guess Hasbro doesn't want to do anything about it. Proof in that fact. Uh, is just how hard it was to find this figure right here, Taskmaster. Taskmaster comes in a two-pack with Deadpool, one of my other favorite characters. And, you know, you can't find these two anywhere. And Deadpool, I realize Deadpool is a re-release if you consider his Wolverine figure, but Deadpool's also one of the most, you know, popular characters in all of Marvel right now. Um, you can't find this comic pack anywhere because they had to release another goddamn Wolverine. And even though he's with Silver Samurai, it's a stupid looking Wolverine. And everybody's tired of it. So, come on, Marvel. More original characters. Oh, I, I think actually Ultron is in this wave as well. You know, because they had to get a repaint in of Ultron. By the way, Taskmaster here, awesome. Awesome character. I love Taskmaster. I really only know who Taskmaster is, you know, because he was in some Deadpool comics, um, and and I would totally buy a Taskmaster series. Uh, really, really think he's a great character, um, mostly because of his sarcasm, and uh, you know, another great figure. I'm really happy to have this one. Finally found it. So, anyway, I'm gonna label this Darkhawk Wolverine X23 and uh, Taskmaster for the hell of it. Even though the star of the show is this guy right here, uh, Darkhawk. And uh, I would love to see Darkhawk make a little bit of a comeback. I know uh, as part of the War of Kings you know, line and, uh, and all that, they really did a lot with him. And I, I think there's an opportunity there to uh, kind of expand upon that. So uh, we'll see. And um, you know, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe, all that good stuff. And... Uh, if I can find anything else that's pretty cool, I will let you know, and uh, you'll be seeing it here. For now, I'm Jay with ShotClassMedia.com. Uh, thank you for dealing with my uh, the voice that I'm slowly losing, and uh, we will catch everybody next time. Have a good one.